Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I am Maha Salman and I welcome you all to Asia Pacific Evaluation Association's ground back series on professionalization of evaluation. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, as you know that these sessions are quick follow up, uh, learn over lunch, uh, or in this case, uh, learn over breakfast with VOPIS, EY chapters, parliamentarians, and members of the evaluation community. Um, every month, uh, we are joined in by a new country and we discuss their goals towards professionalization, what work they're doing, how, what challenges they face, what is the way forward. And uh, it, sets, it's, uh, it gives us a, a good motivation for everybody uh, to learn from them. And uh, keeping the same spirit of learning, today we have with us our friends from Nepal. So uh, we have Mr. Dhani Ram Sharma, who is the National Planning Commission, who's the Joint Secretary of National Planning Commission, Government of Nepal. And uh, joining him is also Mr. Ruben, uh, who is the President of Nepal. Nepal Evaluation Association. So thank you to both our esteemed uh, presenters for joining today. And uh, I am truly excited to hear what uh, Nepal has been doing, what is their journey of um, uh, professionalization. Um, and uh, I welcome, uh, I, I will now hand over the floor to both our presenters. So Mr. Bhuban and Mr. Dhani, the floor is yours. So thank you, Salman. So should I go first? Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Please. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Maha. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, the organizer, organizer, uh, SA Pacific Evaluation Organization for uh, for this opportunity. Uh, today, uh, we talk. About, we'll talk about Nepal's case, how we are doing evaluation, what are the, our, our experience. Uh, probably, I will more focus on uh, government perspective, and Bhuvanji is. Uh, working in, in this field for a long time, he will uh, he will explain more about uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, professionals' perspective. I will more focus on government's perspective. Uh, let me start with uh, the evolution of uh, evaluation in Nepal, but I will not go detail in in this in this slide. Uh, what I wanted to share here you with that uh, with is uh, we have we had started our evaluation. Um, systematically from fifth plan, which is uh, which was 1975 to 1980. At that time, uh, the government had decided to extend it the M &E function to ministries and agencies. At the, from from that time, we are uh, we were we are we are we have been uh, um, doing evaluation. We have been uh, comparing the outcomes and output of M and E with uh, periodic plans, uh, goals, and strategies. And uh, since the fifth, uh, fifth plan, we have been uh, incorpor incorporating these evaluation activities in our periodic plans. Uh, we Currently, we have 15 plan, uh, which is mainly focused on a uh, few areas. We have uh, uh, formulated new uh, EMA guideline, which is in line with uh, STG indicators, uh, uh, STGs are our key milestones of of, 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 of government of Nepal. So our, our M&E uh, activities are also in line with this uh, STG indicators. Second, we also drafted one provincial guideline because after switching from unitary system to federal system in Nepal, uh, the federal governments, not only federal government, provincial government and local governments are also uh, involving in different development activities so we need to more focus on how provincial governments and local governments are also uh, focus on M and E. So we have drafted one guideline for provincial government, but these guidelines are supposed to be approved by their own um, government. So we have, have just drafted the guideline and we sent to the provincial government. 
Uh, third issue is we drafted a law which is under purview of Parliament of Nepal. Um, we, we didn't have this kind of law so far, but we have now it is in, in, the, in the Parliament. The upper house has already endorsed uh, this bill and now it is in lower house and probably we will get the new um, MNE Act uh, first time in Nepal. And next, uh, we have finished uh, one five years action plan, evaluation action plan. Uh, and now we are now uh, almost uh, in, the, in the end of the process of new uh, action plan. It's almost, we are now in the process of approval. So this is what we have um, done in, 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 in the, during this 15, 15 plan. Uh, so having this kind of uh, experience, we have seen that there's some kind of change in the evaluation process in Nepal. Uh, we are now more focusing on result-based performance indicators. The government, uh, when government announced the budget and programs and policies, each and, each and every activities of policy and plans are set with performance indicators. We set the key performance indicators. So based on that, we, we do the evaluation. So this is what we develop um, nowadays. And uh, moreover, as I mentioned, SCG indicators are the key basis of our evaluation nowadays, which are more result based. We have around 430 foot uh, SDG indicators. So based on that indicators, we do the evaluation activities. And gradually our evaluation activities are more quantitative rather than qualitative, because if you have result based indicators, then it is, it is, it is quite uh, straightforward to do the evaluation. And, and we can have more quant quantitative analysis in our, in our evaluation report as well. And gradually we are also accepting some international criteria uh, in, in, in the evaluation system. Uh, but there are some issues uh, to, be, to be resolved, I mean, especially there are different agencies, they have different own uh, evaluation system. So we need to have more uniformity in the evaluation system. Still, there is no uh, uniformity, uh, though we have guidelines, but still we need to do more uh, work on, on that, that issue. Second, uh, still the more, uh, we, we have more focusing on financial progress. When we do the evaluation, we just see what, what is the expenditure, what's the allocated budget and what is the expenditure, like real expenditure. So uh, we should more focus on physical progress or impact evaluation, but so far we have, we have, we have still we are, there is a domination of financial uh, evaluation rather than physical, physical progress. Similarly, we have problem of dis disaggregated data in, in, some, in some areas. And uh, we have another issue, how to prioritize the projects to be evaluated. Because there are many projects, so which projects should be identified, which, which projects should be given to the first priority or, or, or top priorities in, in the evaluation um, in the, um, process. Uh, similarly, the another issue is capacity development is another key issue. Um, in the, not, not only even, not only, uh, in the governments, uh, they are who are working for the for a long time in the evaluation sector. They they need to have more um, um, capacity development activities. And the government side, the ministries or national planning commission, they have separate division of M and E. Uh, but uh, because of the frequent reshuffle of the staffs, uh, we need to uh, regular update or regular train them. Uh, what is uh, just basic training for them? What is what is evaluation? What are the process? Why you do evaluation? Something like that. So we have not um, established a kind of cadre based evaluation system within the government agencies, and uh, not only within the government agency, also also uh, also uh, the private or uh, or uh, uh, professionals also uh, they need to be capacitated more uh, as compared to uh, today. And next issue is um, we need to have good networking with professionals. Uh, sometimes we do the do the meetings, but still uh, we need to expedite those, those process. Uh, what are the new issues in the evaluation field? How can we share? How can we share, share better? Uh, how can we share the ideas so that we can have better evaluation system? So we need to be more. We need to make this networking system more robust. This is one. This is another issue. Uh, so what we are thinking to do is now uh, we are now formulating new action plan, which is going to be approved very soon. Uh, I will talk about uh, this action plan later on. Second, we also mobilizing Bhopes, uh, how can we capacitate, how can we capacitate them so that uh, uh, we, we can have more, uh, more independent evaluation uh, to improve the government um, development activities. Uh, third one, uh, we have, have also realized this code of conduct to the evaluators. We have draft code of conduct. We, we are also um, going to approve this code of conduct to the evaluators. 
Uh, 42, as I mentioned, we have new, we are, we, are, we are going to have new act. So new act is more focused on what are the evaluation basis and what should be, um, how, how, should, how should we prioritize the evaluation activities. All those issues are, 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 are covered by this new act, a proposed new act. So I think when you, when you do have this kind of new act, maybe we, we, can, we can have better evaluation system in, in, in the government uh, side in Nepal. Similarly, we also talk about this formal education program, formal curriculum for the, for the universities, but we still we have not done. So there's some little part, some faculties, there is some part of evaluation and monitoring um, subject, but this is not uh, very comprehensive. So we need to be more focused on that issue as well. And regular training also, we have been uh, trying to have regular, regular training program as well. These are the some issues that we, um, we need to uh, uh, put forward in the, in the days ahead. Uh, so we, uh, let me talk about this um, this new um, uh, this evaluation action plan that we are going to uh, implement now. Uh, there are five key areas. Um, the one key one key area is uh, we need to have the institutionalized institutionalization of M and E in Nepal uh, through acting so through um, uh, in enacting the new law that is one part when we get law it will be it will get more a law legal basis uh, similarly after having law we need to update the guideline based on that law uh, and we also capacity we also more focus on uh, as i said the subnational governments we need to more facilitate them how can we institutionalize uh, m and e in subnational governments uh, these are some activities with, that we are um, um, planning to have in to have to enable the to, to enable the environment of, uh, to, to enable the MNE environment. Second issue is capacity of development. Uh, in this field, as I said, um, because of the staff frequent staff reshuffle, we uh, we need to have regular meeting, regular training. Uh, this time also we have proposed one training. Next week we are going to have one one training one interaction program and one training. Uh, interaction program is mainly for high officials of Nepal who are involved in the MND and also for the member of parliament, member of National Planning Commission. Uh, there will be a half day interaction program. Two very renowned MND experts will, 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 be give, will be giving their presentation in this, in this interaction. And we have three days uh, the training program for MND officials. Uh, in different ministries and national planning commission. Right? Then in this course, we have two kinds of experts. One is who are working in the working within the government agencies, uh, who are working in the MND activities. And second, we have uh, we have invited BOPES, uh, like um, uh, there are two, three um, uh, uh, evaluation associations. We have invited them to make the class. So, so this is kind of joint collaboration with, uh, with, with uh, um, evaluation professionals. So we are going to have this kind of training. I'm, I'm handling this training as well. Uh, so similarly, we also need to have, need to develop the capacity of professionals as well, BOPES as well. So this is, this is again, the government National Planning Commission is a is a key agency of monitoring and evaluation. So we need not, we need, we, need, we, need, we necessarily not uh, focus more on government evaluation uh, government evaluation staffs. We also uh, we, are, we are also focusing on how can we capacitate the private or experts uh, or who are uh, who wanted to uh, who want to have uh, who want to be uh, uh, M, M &E experts. So we also need to focus to capacitate them. So this is another um, we are we, we are think we are had planning to have and uh, another issue the NPC would uh, we are we are envisioning that the NPC will be the uh, key um, uh, this evaluation agency in, in, in Nepal as the kind of excellent center for evaluation in Nepal. And fourth, the third issue is planned evaluation. So we need to be make more systematic evaluation. How can we prioritize the national pride projects? How can we prioritize the uh, transformative projects and other projects? So we, we, we have we should have some, some kind of basis to prioritize the uh, uh, projects and programs to select the, for evaluation. How can we, we can we need to have how how which methodology we use and how we schedule. So th those uh, issues also should be um, in systematic manner. So we are uh, we will more focus on this planned evaluation. And fourth issue is networking. As I said, um, we need to have regular meetings with BOPES, uh, BOPES who are updated in in, in the evaluation field. 
what's their ideas, what's, what government really need uh, to have from Bhopesh. So this kind of regular meetings, when I joined this division, I have two times uh, regular networking meeting with, with Bhopesh. Uh, Bhuvanji also joined this, this meeting. So we, in this meeting, we talked how, how can we strengthen the evaluation system in Nepal? What, what Bhope can do, what government can do like that. This, this kind of very open discussion we have, we have started. And fourth issue is uh, dissemination. So I think evaluation, when you do the evaluation, this is not the, uh, this is not the end of the story. We should disseminate the reports. What is the main feedback? We, what, what we need to improve? So this kind of all the evaluation reports should be disseminated to the public domain and to the, to the, to the uh, management so that they can have better management response plan. Not, not only the just getting the report. The management should make the re management response plan in, in each and every suggestion. So this is also important uh, to strengthen the evaluation system. So we have, we also uh, we have also incorporated this dissemination issue in also in our action plan. These are the key issues that we have uh, we have incorporated in this action plan, and we are going to implement from uh, five years action plan uh, from now. Uh, so uh, another issue is code of conduct. Uh, we have proposed the code of conduct. I think this is uh, quite uh, uniform. I think the code of conduct, impartiality, risk management, honesty of the evaluators, confidentiality of the evaluation, in, in the case, quality of evaluation. I think these are the common issues. And moreover, this evaluators should be responsible to our society. These are, the, I think, the fundamental um, issues. So, but we, we need to formally uh, we are going to formally approve this code of conduct so that evaluators can uh, uh, get better, um, can have better environment of this um, evaluation system. So uh, this is the quite very brief um, uh, my presentation uh, about evaluation uh, in the pro government perspective. Maybe there are many issues are there. Maybe Bhavanji will cover all, all the issues. So um, with this, I would like to conclude my meet, my my presentation. Um, thank you all for your very patience. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dhani. Um, Mr. Bhuvan, can you share your slides now? Okay. So, <clears throat> shall I start it? Uh, yeah, please go ahead, Buwan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I, I'd be talking uh, on this experience of Nepal Evaluation Society. Uh, without giving much of the uh, background, I uh, strictly uh, like to go to what... Uh, we have done and uh, uh, we have been doing for some time past. Uh, so these are some of the things uh, uh, we have done in the recent past. They are related to strengthening evaluation system, uh, promotion of uh, evaluation culture, capacity development, evaluation assignments and the networking. These are the broad uh, activity categories we are uh, working on. And so far, the strengthening evaluation system is concerned. We are mainly interacting with and contributing to the National Planning Commission on uh, plan documents and the evaluation related documents. Uh, for example, recent feedbacks to the action plan, as we have just heard from our colleague from National Planning Commission, uh, Tani Ramji. And the other part is this uh, sharing of evaluation culture. Uh, that is mainly in terms of sharing uh, documents and the information. And these information uh, we are getting mostly from API, uh, networking, and the other announcements. And at the same time, we are sharing information on different uh, opportunities also, because sometimes that also enhances uh, people's interest uh, towards evaluation uh, job. Because uh, without uh, having good opportunities, people will not be so much attracted. So uh, based upon that assumption, we often uh, share uh, information on different opportunities also. And the capacity development, 
uh, definitely it involves training, working as a resource person to other training programs, participation in uh, NES, members in other training programs, sharing of experiences uh, like that. I've come down to some specific examples just to drive my points. And the other is definitely some uh, doing uh, some evaluation assignments. Uh, in that also, so far as internal evaluation of planning commission is concerned, we work together with planning commission. And the, for some, uh, some other agencies like uh, UNDP and the USAID, we, uh, we have provided uh, directly some uh, training inputs as well as conducting some uh, evaluation uh, engagements uh, as well. And the other part is definitely networking. When we talk of networking, networking among the poor page in the country, and at the same time with uh, API in there, and it's uh, uh, networking. So some of the uh, examples, specific examples I would like to uh, provide is uh, uh, on strengthening evaluation system, we had a very uh, good and a regular interaction with National Planning Commission. Uh, as we have seen, uh, they are working on integrated evaluation action plan, code of conduct, and the bill uh, uh, on this uh, monitoring and evaluation. So uh, uh, we are having uh, regular interactions with National Planning Commission on, uh, on all these things. Uh, so it is calling regular meeting of all the POPs. Uh, they made a brief presentation and we provide our feedbacks. And at the same time, they share the documents. And in our last meeting, uh, which is chaired by our Joint Secretary, and at the uh, moment, he is our speaker also, first speaker, Shia Tandiramji. Uh, he uh, chair the session. So uh, there were some 10 POPI members and a three POPIs uh, and a similar number of NPC officials. Uh, we participated uh, in that uh, discussion uh, meeting. And in this meeting, some discussions on code of conduct, draft national evaluation, a bill. Uh, at the moment, it is still to be an act. Uh, it is a bill. So uh, UNES at its end shared the documents with all its members so that uh, all the members can also take part in the uh, dialogue process. So they provided uh, us with their uh, observation feedbacks to our uh, virtual meetings. Uh, altogether, uh, 10 members participated. We are a very small copy. Uh, in the sense that we are just 24, 25 members and out of that 10 members participated, shared their comments and we provided feedbacks to National Planning Commission. Likewise, uh, we are involved in the capacity development uh, effort of National Planning Commission also. Uh, that was also discussed and as uh, Taniramji had just mentioned, uh, there is going to be one another training program sometimes next week, and uh, uh, we'd be one of the joint organizers, uh, organizers at that time. So uh, there is a capacity development. Uh, it is a big issue in our context at the present moment because we have moved to federal system. So uh, as we have just seen, we have problem even at the federal level because of uh, frequent staff turnover. But with uh, province and the local level, we have 753 uh, local governments, you see, uh, which are now uh, autonomous. They can take their own decisions, right? They can mobilize their own resources. So uh, there is a capacity development of local uh, level uh, uh, government is also very much critical and challenging. So those things are also uh, discussed with National Planning Commission and how to go about it. At the moment, they have developed uh, guidelines as we have seen, uh, that is uh, one starting uh, step uh, that is being done, but definitely we have to move ahead and uh, find out some other ways also to support provincial and the local level governments. Uh, so uh, as for other part, we are jointly organizing uh, this uh, uh, training program. And uh, so far as the evaluation engagement is concerned, recently uh, we are engaged in three internal evaluation uh, uh, of National Planning Commission. Uh, one is on uh, road project, another is on Prime Minister's Employment Program, and a third one is on Nepal-India Regional Trade and the Trade. 
engaged. So our members, they took part in these uh, engagements and provided their inputs uh, in uh, all aspects from uh, designing to uh, report writing. Uh, so far as this uh, evaluation culture uh, promotion is concerned, uh, last year we participated in Japan OD workshop. And in Japan with the workshop, there were very uh, good uh, papers submitted, good presentations made, uh, in which new deck criteria and the Japan contextualization shared with all the members. And the, uh, so we also at our end, share those documents with uh, all our members and organize one virtual meeting also, so that we can share our feelings also with our uh, members. Other is definitely uh, uh, these uh, APR, regional evaluation strategy and the other announcements from uh, APR uh, and its own uh, networking, a lot of networking. And uh, uh, there are number of uh, webinars that are being organized by this APR networking on methodological aspects, which, which are going to be very much helpful in professionalization of uh, evaluation uh, in Nepal. So uh, we hope that uh, participants could take advantage of those things. And the other is definitely our own interaction and talk programs, this basically to share the experiences among ourselves. And uh, some of the topics recently we covered are Japanese experience, institutionalization of evaluation in Nepal, and the challenging in implementing SDGs, use of online tools for evaluation. Because of this, uh, COVID-19, a lot of uh, online practices are there, and now that's likely to be some sort of permanent future in the future also, even if face-to-face uh, -face, uh, events uh, are also possible now. And the other, other part, uh, this capacity development and evaluation assignments, as uh, uh, I have mentioned about the three projects uh, we have worked with uh, National Planning Commission, besides that, uh, there is one, uh, another project, uh, children and the physical disability revelation project for which uh, our three uh, members, they provided uh, uh, design for evaluation based upon their results framework and the five project staffs, they are given uh, intensive uh, warrantation to conduct uh, evaluation project uh, uh, activities as such for their uh, project. So uh, one recent activity is that, and it's very much similar activity we have done for another projects also, uh, this USID Surgical Innovation Project that is also for uh, di uh, disabled people and in which two NES members were involved and uh, six uh, project staff trained. At the same time, uh, both working together, they undertake the, uh, this evaluation assignments also so uh, three parts involved in that, design uh, the uh, evaluation uh, activities, second, train the staffs, and the third, undertake the uh, evaluation assignments as well. I think these are some of the stops I uh, quickly like to, and the way forward, uh, we before, like to- Sorry, sorry, Mr. Bhuban, before uh, we hear the way forward, I think we should directly jump to the questions. And if there are any questions that addresses the way forward, you're uh, definitely, you can uh, go ahead. And uh, because in the interest of time, I would really want our participants also yeah. to interact with both of you. So I'm really, really sorry. Uh, but, That's uh, fine. We would, we would uh, really uh, like our participants to um, uh, have an interaction with both of you. We don't want okay. them to miss this opportunity. <laughs> okay. So, um, so for that, uh, in the interest of time, um, I would like to open the floor for questions. We already have a question uh, from um, uh, Carlos. Uh, and uh, the uh, so Mr. Bhuban, maybe you can take this. And it is that, is there any specific initiative focused on supporting emerging and young evaluators? So if there's anything in the way forward also, you could talk about that perhaps. Yeah. Mr. Bhuban? Yeah, I'm trying to go through uh, the chat. Okay, sure. 
And uh, there's another question, Mr. Dhani, perhaps you can take that, that uh, in uh, formulating or drafting the National Action Plan, what okay. sort of cult cult uh, consultation process did you go through or, um, and what sort of, what were the stakeholders? Maybe if you can elaborate on that. So these two uh, questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mad Maha. Uh, thank you very much for your question. Uh, yes, we have very wider um, consultation. Um, we first, the draft is made by was made by the Bopes. They they made draft. We just assigned them to make a draft. What what is the key? Uh, what are the key strategies or key actions to be implemented? So they made the first draft. Then we got the draft from them. Then we had the discussion with our government officials, uh, our national planning commission members. We have the rigorous discussion, and based on this feedback, again we sit we had interaction with Bopes again, and we revised this uh, this action plan. And after having a number of meetings, number of interactions with uh, Bopes and uh, government agencies in, uh, or government staffs who are involved in the MNE, then we just made this draft. And we, once we have already discussed with the um, planning commission member, and almost it is just for, for formalizing the process of approval. That's, that's, the, that's the process what we have made. Great. Um, thank you so much. Mr. Boban, would you like yeah, to add something? Uh, yeah, I tried to browse through some of the uh, uh, these comments also, but uh, I think that's the uh, only one at the moment. Uh, definitely, uh, at the moment, we are not actively engaged in that process, these uh, supporting young and the emerging evaluators. But uh, recently, but recently, here yeah, also in Nepal, one evaluate uh, networking is now established in which we are also supporting from our side. And uh, now we are trying to encourage uh, young evaluators to be the members of that group and to see how we can support to them uh, in terms of, let's say, uh, uh, sharing of information, capacity development, and uh, uh, more than that, showing them what are the challenges of evaluation uh, Carrier, uh, carrier also, right? So that they should be prepared at the very beginning. So uh, we are in touch in that process. And uh, I would like to take this uh, occasion to stress one uh, particular point also in the sense that at the moment we are working very much closely with National Planning Commission that's there. And uh, another stakeholder very much important in our uh, case is uh, NGO activities. And the NGO activities are coordinated by one, uh, there's a social coordination council in Nepal, which are also responsible for managing, undertaking, and uh, uh, going for evaluation uh, activities for uh, NGO related uh, uh, developmental activities. So we are trying to be in touch with them also uh, to broaden our activities. And in that context, uh, National Planning Commission is going to be very much helpful to us to have uh, some sort of connect between our two agencies. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bhuvan. And I see you've already answered uh, Pawan's question regarding the NGO uh, within this uh, answer. So uh, one very, very last question. And meanwhile, our speakers answer this question. I would request you all to turn on your camera so that we take a picture also a group picture while the speakers are addressing this question. So the last question is from Francis and he's asking, does, the, does your professionalization of evaluation include certification? If yes, how it is done and how WOPIs are engaged? Is there a curriculum to be followed? So um, either of you or whichever, whoever wants to address this, please go ahead. I think Bhuvanji, you talk this is why I reply this is right. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think uh, at the moment uh, uh, we have these things. Uh, definitely, we'd be moving towards that. And as we have just seen, uh, we are working for having a code of conduct at the moment. So uh, without having those infrastructures, definitely we can't go for this uh, certification and uh, uh, other uh, curriculum part. And uh, as a part of uh, as a part of our way forward. Uh, this uh, Nepal Evaluation uh, Society. Uh, what we are trying to do is uh, 
coordinate with Trivuna University to have some sort of regular training program on EM and E. At the moment, we don't have a regular EM and E program as such uh, on an ad hoc basis, uh, uh, sponsored by a project. We are having those programs, but on a regular basis, we are trying to uh, establish some kind of uh, uh, relationship with Trivuna University. And then gradually, if everything moves smoothly, uh, these masters and the higher level of diploma programs as a uh, listed by our uh, Dhaniramji also, uh, that, that's also on the uh, card, but uh, uh, that is for the future only. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dhani, and thank you so much, Mr. Bhuban, and thank you everyone for uh, joining in today. This was our fifth session, and uh, like every month, we will see you next month on the last Friday.